Why am I in 60 FPS? I'm on PC. Because I have human eyes. And as a human being, I actually can't perceive the difference between 60 FPS and anything beyond that. I can I can perceive the difference between maybe 60 and 75. Uh, but beyond that, as a human being, there's really just no point in having anything faster than that. Plus, I have a 60 hertz monitor, so there's I can't even go up to 75. It would be pointless. What do you mean? You wish you had 240 FPS? Well, let me tell you this, Elmenor. Let me ask you this. Um, I'm just going to turn into Randy Macho Man Savage now. Everything, before I say anything, I'm going to be like, Well, let me tell you this! So, Elmenor, if you... Does your monitor go up to 240 hertz? Because if you don't have a 240 hertz monitor, then there is literally no difference. You, If your monitor will only go up to, say, 144 hertz, which is rare, but if your monitor will do 144, then it literally makes no difference to go beyond 144 FPS, because you won't see them. Yeah. See, if you have 144 hertz, there's no sense in, in running your game at 240 FPS, because you're just throwing away 100 frames a second. But you're a sweat bag, you need it to play cash cups and stuff. No, you don't. If you think that, that your gameplay is affected by the difference between 60 and 144 hertz, you're deluding yourself and you're wasting your money. I said it. There I said it, world. Prove me wrong. You know what? 60, 60 FPS, that's 16 milliseconds per frame. 8 milliseconds is not going to make a difference in whether you sweat out to, to second or third or first place in your cash cup. Right? We're not talking about 8 milliseconds of internet lag. We're talking about uh, 8 seconds, 8 milliseconds of of difference between you seeing one frame and, and a slightly barely different frame. The game itself is, I don't think, running faster than 60 FPS anyway, like on the server. You're not getting updates faster than that. So all the only difference is whether you see the, the, the update that you've already gotten from the server now or whether you see it 8 milliseconds from now. Meanwhile, everything that you do with your hands and fingers and stuff to interact with the game, there's like it's like 100, 200 milliseconds between the, when the signal gets from your eye to your brain to your hands. It makes no difference whether you run at 60 or 144 FPS. It, you might think... It looks faster, and maybe it looks a little smoother. You might feel better playing, but it makes no difference to how well you play. Unless, for some reason, you can only play well when you feel good about uh, about the value that you're getting out of buying your, uh, your, your equipment. Like, you know, buying a nicer TV might make you feel better about playing your, your console. And so maybe you'd say, I play better like this. You know, maybe putting on better music may helps you play better. Okay, but it's not because there's something about that music that influences your gameplay and makes you better at the game. It's just because you feel better doing it. Now, the difference between 30 and 60 FPS, that's more substantial. Like, you can humanly perceive the difference between 30 and 60 very easily, whereas the difference between 60 and 75, you can barely notice, and the difference between 75 and 144... I, I would bet money that no one can actually tell the difference better than 50% of the time. That said, the reason I run at 60, besides having a 60 hertz monitor, is because I'm streaming. So, since you're only getting a 60 FPS stream, it, for one thing, it wouldn't be fair to, uh, to you, the people, uh, for me to have more frames than you do, right? You're seeing the same game that I see. But also, uh, I, I don't want to put a bunch of extra work on my GPU just to, just to render a bunch of frames that aren't going to get streamed anyway. And half the time I'm playing on a, on OCE, so like the extra uh, extra FPS are not going to make a difference because I've got 200 milliseconds of lag to the game. 